in the house time. Let's go. <laughs> Hey YouTube Fragrance family, welcome to another initial impression on the Robes Awake channel. Happy that you can tune in. Um, this might not get as many views as other uh, initial impressions, but that's okay. Um, as you know, I like to pride myself in looking more into the indie houses. And I haven't been doing that lately. I know it's been a few years actually, I haven't been really doing that. Um, but one of my favorite... Um, Websites to go to is uh, I think lucky scent owns this brand, but it's uh, indie This is where I got this from and I just love going on that website and just looking for some strange stuff Pfft. Stuff that's like uh, resinous smoky uh, weird um, That is what I'm looking for stuff that you, Designers can't do niche may do or try but they really don't have the balls to um, That is what I look for um, this fragrance house called Henley had a few fragrances that I was just like, I need to get my hands on these. These sound amazing. This one called Fume. <laughs> and, oh, when looking at the note breakdown, I was like, yes, I need that. So I had to get a sample from Indie Scents. And I like their samples because they have atomizers on them. Unlike Lucky Scent, which... This, I thought Lucky Scent owned these guys, so why can't Lucky Scent do this? Lucky Scent, do what they do, okay? Okay, that's angry face. Do it, it's easy. Anyway, <laughs> so Fume, I'm excited, and I can't wait, because really I haven't been doing my indie type of feel on my channel. I haven't been really just delving into fragrances that are really get me excited and jumping, right? Um, so this I have high hopes for. So let's see. Fume by Henley. Green juice, dark juice. Oh. oh my god. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this. Oh, this is why I go indie, uh, because it's just, God damn it. So this is a house that's new to me. I've never smelt anything. Really? Okay. <laughs> and winter's almost over. You're perfect for winter. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what this reminds me of? Where is it? Where are you? You should be in here, because that's where I put you. Where are you? Oh my god. Okay, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. This is what this smells like. If you don't know what that is, that's Black Tourmaline by Rivier du Panneau. Um, very smoky fragrance. This has smoke. Close. But this is, oh my, less wood. I gotta take off my glasses. How can I describe this? <sighs> Middle of the woods, pine, lots of pine everywhere. This smells, you're in the forest, you're camping. Um, this smells like your clothes after you did a huge bonfire. It has that smokiness to the fragrance that I love. I mean, it really does resemble this. Um, it has that smoky, woody appeal. Um, bonfire, 100%. Pine needles. So it's almost like you were in the woods cutting a bunch of pine trees for some stupid reason. Um, your clothes have some pine on it um, because that's what you, you did all day. I don't know, you're cutting Christmas trees for everybody in the, uh, and you did a huge bonfire at night and it's that morning. Okay. The morning of, you got that morning dew a little bit. It has a little bit of wetness to the fragrance. Oh, but it's so dry at the same time. Okay. It's got a little bit of wetness, morning dew, 
um, smoky clothing, pine needle amazingness. <laughs> and that's why it's called fume. It smells like the fumes of a bonfire. That's exactly what it is. God, that's nice. I can't wait to wear it on my skin to see development. But that opening is, it has Mark written all over it. I love it. I love my smoky fragrances, just like this one. Um, I believe a bottle of this. I don't remember how much. I think it was like 100 bucks. So it's cheap. Cheapish. I might be wrong for the price. So don't quote me on that. Again, I didn't do that much research. This is not what this is about. This is the initial impression to let you guys know about a fragrance house if you haven't smelt it or haven't heard about this brand. Um, hopefully this sounds interesting to you. I think I found a winner. Now go on YouTube and see if anybody else has been talking about this brand um, because F me, that's good. That's all I gotta say. So please comment below um, if you have smelt this brand and if you know of any other fragrances. I think I have a whole bunch from Indie Scent. Um, I got so many freaking things to test out. Um, it's crazy, but uh, I'm slowly getting into it. But uh, I think I have like three or four from the brand. There's another one that I really wanted to. I, I, I recall wanting two, and that was one of them um, that I was really uh, excited about. So as a first impression of this brand, this reminds me of like Slumber House when I got excited about Slumber House. So Henley might be one of those brands. So keep it tuned in. Um, is this bottle worthy? I'm going to wear this like once or twice on sampling samples. And don't be surprised in a couple of weeks that I have a bottle of this stuff because it, it is great. Great, great juice for winter. Unfortunately, spring's coming. It's around the corner. So I probably won't be wearing it. But I love these kind of brands. I just, okay. I've spoken enough. Thank you for watching. Again, please comment below if you smell this fragrance, good or bad. I'd love to hear about that. The brand, if you know about the brand, write me a freaking book in the comments. I absolutely love hearing about that. Um, I'm going to go on YouTube and go see if anybody else is talking about this house. Hopefully there is because this is a house that cannot be ignored. There's no way nobody's been talking about this. I just haven't seen it. Um, so I'm going to go check it out right now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.